G'day guys, see my shells here, the Aussie Geo Cash. Who have I got with me today? Aussie mate. G'day guys, see my shells here, the Aussie Geo Cash. As we all know, this month of April is CETO month. Now I have with me Ben, also known as Aussie Mate here. He's come up with this great idea, fantastic idea for a CETO. Now, we know CETO is an event, but what if, just what if, you could do a CETO in almost every cash that you find? Now how good would that be? Ben, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. So tell me what this, this, this idea you have. Um, well, I've got a, uh, had an idea and I know most of us, we collect a lot of mint tins and it's also probably the bane of our existence is mint tins out in the field. Yes. So um, I wanted to come up with an idea how to use them and I had quite a lot. And um, what I just thought to myself is um, I could use these as little swag prizes. So instead of just having prizes inside them, I actually put a plastic bag inside it, which we can use to collect rubbish. And then I thought the next step is to actually give it a trackable number and that way we can all go online together and we can actually log our experiences and we can log our cleanups and then we can all sort of um, benefit from cleaning up our areas but we can also track and post photos just to one page and we can see what each other is doing. That's a great idea. How good an idea is that? So, we're going to put it in layman's terms so everyone knows about it because this video is going to be on YouTube and if you find one of these in a container itself um, and you don't know what to do, you don't understand what to do, there'll be a link in the actual description um, of, the, of the, uh, the code Therefore, then you can watch the video and see for yourself. Now, you know what? While you talk about it, I'm going to go out and find one. Yeah? Perfect. What do you reckon? Sounds good. So, what do we have to do in, uh, in regards to... So, I go to a cache. Yeah. I grab a, con con a cache container. Yep. I look in it, I find the logbook, and all of a sudden, I see one of these. Yeah. And I look and go, okay, what do I do with this? So, tell me what do I do with this after that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is um, you can uh, use your app or your internet or however you get online and you basically want to get it into your possession. So depending on what device or what app you use, you can grab it um, online or you can retrieve it online or retrieve from a cache. Um, someone else might have it in their possession, but the whole idea is you grab the possession of them and then you can go straight away put it in your name and you can start logging it as uh, visiting the caches and that way the maps will update as well. And we can see all the areas across Australia or international or wherever these things end up. Hopefully the wider the better because that'll be the more cleaning up we're doing and you can see what the other people are doing. So basically you want to get it in your possession first and then when you make a find or you visit an area you can just log it as a discover or a visit as well. Yep. So it doesn't actually have to log on a new find, it can log on an old find if you just want to go and clean up the area. So um, that's the idea, get it in your possession and then what we have is just a matter of to use it is opening it up and on the inside we've got rubbish bags. Just your simple old rubbish bag, there's nothing special about them. They fit in there, it's quite a good size. And there we have a rubbish bag that we can use to see to in our area. And that's just a bag from your local shops. That's it. I, everyone has plenty of them lying around at home and instead of throwing them out, we can actually use them. And then also, if you're the first person to get one of these, I've got one of my little swag items on the inside. So you can collect that and move it on. And um, so there's a little prize for the first one to um, have it in there. Wow. So, I find the container. I will sign the logbook, I grab this little uh, little mint tin. What, what, what do we call it? What's the name of these? Uh, this is called Pocket Cito. Pocket Cito. I grab a Pocket I love that name. I will okay. grab the Pocket Cito. Yep. I will then, I, I'll read it, I'll look what I have to do with it. I'll log it mm -hmm. to where I am. I'll then take the plastic bag out, I'll do the Cito as normal. Yep. What do I do after that? Uh, so once you've gotten rid of, so you've got your rubbish in the bag, get rid of it in your local rubbish bin. You can take it with you, or the idea is get another plastic bag, put it back inside, and you can drop it into the next cache that you visit because it is fully trackable, and um, that way the next person can pick it up and they can do the same thing again. So, oh, that's fantastic. So you can basically take it home, grab another plastic bag from underneath the seat, the way everyone's got them, or in the little plastic bag, little drawers, yep. <laughs> and then put it back in there, and then does it have to be the same cache, or can it be any other cache? Any other cache you visit. The, the wider the spread these go, the more cleaning up we'll get, better off for us as geocaches in keeping our areas nice and clean. That's a great one, because when you think about it, if you've done the, the CETO around that particular cache that you just found, yep. hopefully it's not going to be here, uh, rubbish here again. So yep. that's a great idea. And obviously you need to put them in a larger size container. I mean, they won't fit in a nano now, will they? Uh, no, they won't fit in a nano, but depending on where it is, you might be able to put them with other cages. So if it doesn't fit into something that's a small, maybe you can attach it nearby or place it right next to it. So when they find one, 
they may be able to find the other. That's a great idea. Fantastic. Well, so how's that, guys? A pocket seato. Now, if you do find one of these pocket seatos, I have a look at what I've done so far in the video, and you'll see exactly what you need to do. Thank you so much for joining me, Ben. Okay, it's no been problems. a great idea. And if you like this idea, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and on Periscope as well. So from Ben, uh, Aussie mate Ben, and see my shells. I'm the Aussie Geocache. We're over and out. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>